everybody so I'm going to do a demonstration on the pivot table from the pre-assignment 73-4 and I know some of you have sent me a message saying that um, you probably had a little bit of trouble which is not uncommon if this especially if this is the first time that you've ever um, tried to complete or prepare a pivot table I, I think I told one of you that the first time that I tried to do a pivot table I might have started crying because I felt like I was trying to figure out some type of uh, scientific uh, um, answer to you know something but um, anyway so here is the data from the assignment okay so you have it built into your workbook. I just have the Excel spreadsheet. So here, the first um, part that you would have seen, I think it's on the Excel tab, just listed what the different fields were. Okay, so there was nothing that you really had to do with that. The next part, uh, the next tab, I think was called pivot table, which was the information. Okay, so we have our transaction dates. We have our days of the week. We have weeks number six, and I believe all the way to 10 uh, in this specific data set. And then we have segments, so coffee, food, gifts, specialty drink, etc. And then the amount of spend for that day. So what the question asked you to do was to create a pivot table. So what you would do, okay, you go to insert, you go pivot table, and it autom if you're on the, the page with your data, it will automatically select the data on that page. What you have to remember with pivot tables is that you need the row with the headers, the fields, okay, because it's critical that um, when we get to the next step that these um, fields are there or also actually you'll get an error you won't be able to select it without the fields, okay. So it's automatically selected the whole range for us, you say okay. Next we have to go to the build, the pivot table, so what am I asking you for? I want, I think I asked you to tell me by segment, so coffee, food, gifts, specialty drink, um, for each week, tell me the amount. So we have, so what you have to make sure next is that everything is in the right spot. Okay, so for row labels, right now we have uh, coffee, food, gifts, and specialty drink. So our different categories of revenue, let's call it. Um, it's giving us a sum of weeks, which is not what we want. So you can actually take sum of weeks and put it to row labels. So then what happens is it says, okay, for coffee, week six, we had a uh, 1,190, week seven, eight, nine, 10, etc. And it breaks it down for us for um, each week under each category of revenue, our grand total, fantastic. Okay, so this is our, our value. Sum of the amount is perfect. That's what we wanna know, okay? If we wanted to play around with this and see how it changes if we move things, we could put week as a column instead of a row. Okay, so it just kind of changes the way it looks for us a bit. We end up with the same grand total. Instead, we just have um, four, uh, four rows based on our different revenue streams. And uh, we have the columns for each week, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And again, it just gives us week six our coffee revenue was this week seven our coffee revenue was this so you know what what the goal here is just to show you is um, that when you use something like a pivot table it takes away the need for you to go here and then try to okay um, you know let's do a insert some some columns and then let's sort this by segment uh, which is column D sort it and then maybe we'll say, okay, now let's add a subtotal. Um, okay, it doesn't like that. At the change of each segment, use the sum function and let's add it to column E. And let's see if that works. Okay, then can I collapse it a little bit? So, you know, it, it's we could do this for each week, which is fine. You know, we'll get the same answer, hopefully. But um, what uh, what the point is is that you know when you use a pivot table, it kind of just makes it that much faster, clear, concise, no room for error. And if you notice the way that I just did it by summing um, and then adding subtotals, etc., I actually my coffee total here says that it's uh, one thousand thirty six twenty one because it didn't capture. 
the first line. Okay, so I missed something when I was when I was doing my range. So it says 1,036. When in actuality, the coffee spend for week six was 1,190. So right away we see that there's an error. Okay, when you do things to a little bit more manually, you leave room for that. Using the pivot table increases your efficiency, increases your ability to get things done correctly. So that was really all that we wanted you to do for the um, for the pre-assignment to create this simplified simplistic pivot table. So hopefully this little tutorial helps you guys. We'll do the NetSuite uh, pivot table for the AP register together online or I might do it and then just run the video for you guys to watch because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to see if I do it in Excel but so hopefully this helps out and if you have any questions we will address them all right guys thank you